Ball, y'all, right here live on reallibertymedia.com, on vaughn.live slash reallibertymedia, and rlmradio.xyz, and a host of other places that I don't even know about. So, uh, welcome to everybody out there this evening, Friday night, November 20, 2020. Um, not sure where Moose Girl is, but... I'd imagine she'll be around before too long, uh, I assume, any way. Let's see what uh, Vanna tells me about about Moose Girl. Vanna sometimes gets 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 on with this. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, anyway, um, it's Friday night. Uh, man. Yeah, so, anyway, uh, oh, there, there she is. <laughs> oh, you're doing what? Okay, well, if you're doing that, Moose, then just wait till you're finished before you come on the air. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, this week, uh, wow, what a week it's been, I guess. Um, we, all got, we got bad news, and we got good news. Bad news and good news. Uh, uh, the bad news is... Um, I'm reading chat. That's why I'm due to doing. Um, uh, it, it, everything's fine. Everything's working. I, I, I tell you, everything's good. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing some, some uh, messages that something, some of the audio or something is not working. Um, so... Uh, it should be good. Everything's good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, am I speaking? I, I don't know who you're talking about. You talking to me? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> anyway, so we. Sorry about all that. A little distractions here uh, because I'm not positive of the uh, of the situation going on. If I if I have a if I have uh, things going on. That are not working properly, but everything seems to be working properly, as far as I could tell. I I, I checked everything anyway, so yeah, um, great. So uh, anyway, uh, bad news, good news, and um, the bad news is that uh, our good friend and cohort here from Real Liberty Media and other places, um, uh, Mr. Sock Puppet, uh, passed away this morning. Um, so, uh, it's, it's very sad, very sad. Uh, he, he was a really good guy. He helped out with a lot of stuff. He was just a, he was just a good all-around guy, you know. Uh, one time I was in there in the chat, and I, and I was, uh, talking about, uh, talking about, uh, I was looking for a particular mouse, a trackball that I used, and, and I, I couldn't find one. Um, and the ones that I did, I did actually find one. It was like $300 or some kind of crazy amount for a $40 trackball, and um, he, he popped right up and said, hey, man, I got some of those. You want me to send you some? I said, really? <laughs> so apparently, I don't know where what his source was for him, but he sent me two of them, never asked for any kind of compensation or nothing, and uh, he was just a good guy like that, you know, like the bots we have here. He did a lot of work on our bots, um, uh, the Vanna White bot, anyway, and... Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I, he, he was just, he was just, oh, he was all around decent guy. Um, and, uh, he, he will be missed. Uh, so, um, rest in peace, man. Um, so that's, that's the, uh, sad news. And oh, by the way, um, as, as kind of a, a tribute to Sock Puppet, I located all, all of the requests, all, all the requests in our, our request list. And, um, and I and I moved them up to the top of the thing, so I'll be I'll be uh, most of the most of the songs I play tonight will be from requests from Sock Puppet dating back as far as 2017. So um, <laughs> so uh, not not all of them, but most of the songs I play tonight will be from from uh, Sock's old requests. Uh, like I said, going back to 2017 on those um, up through his, I think his late his last request was. Uh, 2019, 2019, 
so I don't know. Well, he, he just stopped requesting or whatever at that point. Um, anyway, so good news. Good news. Hey, Moose, how are you doing? Um, okay. How are you? I'm good Hello? too. I'm okay too. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> yes, yeah, I can. Good, good. Good. So anyway, on the good news uh, or positive, happy mm-hmm. news, whatever you want to call it, not really an RLM thing, but uh, Miss Kate. Got a new kid today, a little four-legged furry kid, um, <laughs> who is who is uh, na- known as Levi. So uh, yeah. ha- happy for Kate and happy for her other kid, Lewis. Uh, he's got a buddy now, although I don't know how they're getting along yet. But uh, you know, it takes time. Sometimes. I'm sure they're going to be best buddies. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. But it takes time for you know. Yeah, it does for dogs yeah. to figure out who each who they both are and so uh so we got, right. a little, we got we got we got a you know a chunk of sad bad news there and you, know, you see yeah. for, for, for sock puppet you know it's been like four months since we've seen him here yeah in the, in the chat and everybody's been wondering well, longer than that i think Grim. Uh, it was july so what, what is this was it oh, okay yeah. oh july oh, okay yeah. so um okay great so um uh, so we we, uh, we hadn't seen him here in the chat, and everybody was wondering. Nobody knew anything, and then recently right. uh, some news was passed along to uh, one of the uh, chat members, and that was spread along to us uh, that mm-hmm. he was actually in the hospital all this time and was not in good shape. No. And then uh, so uh, uh, last night they they uh, disconnected the uh, life support the, the life support system with whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he kept going for for for, for yeah for a little bit for yep. you know, a few hours there and then and then said enough I'm done and uh, and he's off to uh, rock and roll heaven. Yep. Rest in peace, Doc. I'm gonna yep. miss you. And welcome, Levi. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Levi. Welcome to Levi. Yep. Yeah, and and a girl joined us back here tonight after many long time gone. I don't know how long. So a couple of few years at least that we haven't seen a girl around over here. So right, uh, that was great to see yeah, her. Yeah, good to have her in the chat. You know, that's that's pretty. It awesome. is. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so maybe she'll come back. We'll see. She, she was chatting for a while and then had to go. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always like Deji. Yeah. Okay. So I went. Out, oh, are you? Were you done talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Stuff? Yeah, go ahead. No, I just had to laugh because last night, for some reason, like late night, I went on some rant on Twitter <laughs> about Gavin Newsom, of all people. I, I, I saw part of that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know why I picked that douche, but he's a douche, so, you know. Uh, there's so many to pick from, you know. There is. There's so many. So I wrote... The first one was, what are you on, Newsom? What the fuck are you doing? P.O.S. Second was, Gavin Newsom sucks. Third one was, Nazi effing governor. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag Nazi effing governor. Hashtag fascist Newsom. Hashtag P.O.S. Then I wrote, the next one was, why don't you stay home? Then it was, hashtag Gavin, hashtag Gavin Newsom sucks. Hashtag Hashtag P.O.S. Newsom. Hashtag Newsom the fascist. <laughs> okay, I, I. So why why don't why, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the the motherfucker goes to this dinner at this fancy restaurant at some hotel. Yeah. With like eleven people, they're not socially distanced, they're not masked up, and he's telling the whole his whole state of California that they cannot celebrate Thanksgiving, they cannot gather for Thanksgiving. Right. It's like you piece of shit hypocrite. Right. You know this is how they are though. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> look absolutely. at Pelosi. You oh. know. <laughs> I don't have to. I don't have to look outside my own state for that nonsense. Yeah. Right, yeah, you're uh, in like the Nazi Mexico down there. Oh, it's horrible. And, the and, N um, stands for Nazi now. Yeah, it's not new anymore. It's now Nazi. No. Okay. Yeah, it's Nazi <laughs> Mexico. Yeah, she. Uh, you know, when when, when uh, she uh, put the initial public health order in, I think it was back last March, 
um, mm-hmm. and, and shut down all these various businesses and stuff. It, pretty much like what a Nancy Pelosi kind of thing, except Nancy wasn't uh-huh. the governor, so she didn't have a, have the say in the shutdown, whereas MLG uh, did. Uh, anyway, so um, she shut down all these businesses and, and uh, any any kind of basically destroyed a whole bunch of businesses. But she was she was going to be talking on TV to tell about her new uh, draconian rules that she put in place, and so she thought, yeah, yeah. well, you know, I I I got to look good for that, so I need a new a new jewelry, some new jewelry, a new necklace. And so she goes just strolling on down. She calls up the owner of some jewelry place that has her go down there and open up this jewelry store so she can go in there and shop around. Oh, great! Yeah, well, well yeah, that's how they. And that, yeah. Oh, yeah, one of the other one was. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You go. One of the other ones was Governor Newsom. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, f you. Hashtag Newsom sucks. <laughs> so I don't know if it got any traction, but I was just. Uh, it's the hypocrisy. Yeah. You know, it, it's over the top. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, do as yeah. I say, not as I do. That's exactly what it is. Uh, they think they're royalty or something. Right. And they yeah. can just, oh, well, the rules don't apply to me. They apply to them, but not to me. Absolutely. Yeah. We we make the rules. We don't have to listen to them. What right. the hell? Why would we? Have, yeah. I mean, uh. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so... There was that. I just, I just wanted to. I, I was laughing at myself. I was having a good old time doing that, ripping on Newsom. It was awesome. <laughs> well, well, you know, whatever, whatever makes you feel better. That's I. Right, okay. you know, you gotta yeah. do something. You gotta call these fucks out. Right, you know, right. you live in California, but that fucker pissed me off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I'm not out there anymore. That's for sure. Yeah, and I don't live in Nazi Mexico either. No, no. So I'm going to be attacking, uh, what, what do you call her? The Notorious MLG. Notorious MLG. Is that what she goes by on Twitter? No, no, no. It, it's, <laughs> MLG. It's Michelle Lujan Grisham. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lujan is L-U-J-A-N. Okay, I'll look her up there. Yeah, yeah. She's... Maybe I'll go after her next. Yeah, why Michelle not? Michelle Lujan? Lujan, Michelle Lujan Grisham. Yeah. Might okay. just, might just Maybe be I'll go off on her next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh so yeah, yeah, she needs it. Um well there's a lot of lot of other governors out there. Of course there's Whitmer over there in uh, Michigan. In Michigan. And uh who's who's in charge of Minnesota now? Uh, Fucking walls. Yeah, so they uh, yeah. Kim Walls. Hey, they, they, they're all he, horrible. Yeah. They're all horrible. Minnesota went all draconian, dude. Yeah, yeah. Minnesota, well, they, they close bars and restaurants now. Well, if you look around, check check the various gyms. check the various states. If they have a Democratic governor, they're all following the same plan. Uh, yep. The, the same. Except MO. for Nazi Mexico, you're you're in the you're you're oh. alone with that. Oh, we're in the lead. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're in the lead on, on totalitarianism. Yeah, oh, you guys boy. are kicking our ass. <laughs> no, don't worry, it'll get there too long before too long. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> well we got Evers here in uh, uh, Wisconsin, so he's no, he's no better either. <laughs> no, no, none of them are. Yeah. No, but Evers keeps going up against the uh, Supreme Court, and he keeps getting shot down. But he keeps extending the mandates, so it's like, which is it? You know, I mean, it's so ridiculous. It's yeah. just. <laughs> See, and Rome Rome's points out that Ohio's got a Republican governor, and they're following the same plan. As the Democrat governors, so um. <laughs> right, it just doesn't make any sense because uh, they're all one, you so, know. Yeah. They're all they're all the same. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. But it, but the uh, ones that claim to be Democrats try to you know follow Nancy Pelosi's uh, commands as best they can. Right. I mean, he signed the Evers signed executive order on Friday, number ninety five. Yeah. Reissued emergency order number one. Fuck off, Evers. You suck, dude. All right. I mean, seriously, they are. They're causing. They're doing more harm than good. Oh, okay? absolutely. They really are. Absolutely. If you want to stay, if you want, if you're afraid, then stay the fuck home. Oh well, you, you know one of the things. You, you know, made. if you're afraid, stay the fuck home right. and let the rest of us live our fucking lives. Okay. Right. Right. 
I mean, come on. A dirty mask, a dirty piece of cloth on your face doesn't do shit. <laughs> doesn't. Okay? The only way a mask will do you any good is if it's an N95 or one of them fancy dancy uh, fucking masks with the filters and shit. Uh, even, Walking even. around with a piece of cloth on your face is more harm than good, okay? It seriously is. It seriously is. Uh, even yeah. that. Even, they even. Don't want, people don't wash their masks. They keep wearing the same mask over and over again. So get the fuck out of here with this mask bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Even that, though, you know, the, all those those mask-wearing folk, uh, they at some yeah. point, are, first off, they're probably not really sealed well on their face. Uh, oh, no, they're not. But it, even if they are, they at some point or another, during their whatever they're doing, uh, remove that mask for at least a few seconds. And, and they touched it, or they yep, they put yeah. it down on their their car seat where you you had your purse on the toilet or the bathroom floor in some public place. Then you put your purse on your fucking car seat next to you. Then you put your mask down there too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bacteria, you guys, if you're so paranoid about bacteria, you're going to be, you have a box of those blue masks well, in, uh, I'll tell in you, your I'll car. Tell you. Most bacteria, I'm, I'm going to agree uh, with Rome's that 99% of bacteria is not harmful to the human body. It except isn't. Except right. unless, it isn't. unless you're breathing it in. <laughs> right. Once you start breathing that shit into your lungs. Uh, see, there's a, it's a different situation at that point. Most bacteria it ain't getting into your lungs. It's it's sitting on something. You touch it. It gets on your hands. Your fingers are fine. It's all good. But once you, once you start breathing that into your lungs, yeah, yeah, that's a whole. You're you're talking about a whole different situation here, and going on. Yep. Because that that kind of stuff would nor never normally get get in, but uh, if if it's collecting up on whatever thing you're breathing yeah. through, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, the, uh, cloth masks are washed daily. People aren't doing that. No. People of are not, not washing those goddamn masks at people, all. Pe people aren't doing laundry every day to wash a mask. No, they're not. Not unless they're super paranoid. Or maybe maybe they're buying about this fucking virus. Thing. May, may, maybe people are buying like boxes of a hundred mask paper masks at once. Probably. You know, I don't know. I don't know what people are doing out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, the experts. Oh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, we're going to kick off some jabs here. Um, All right, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, this, this first song, it's a, it's an ode, an ode, not necessarily really an ode, but it's a, uh, uh, well, it's got it's got the kid's name in it, you know, so um, <laughs> it's okay. not, not, right. not necessarily an ode, but uh, uh, for, for, for Kate's new, Kate's new boy there, uh, this is a song by the old Crow Medicine Show. All right. It's called Levi. Oh, yeah. Beautiful song. Beautiful song. Beautifully done. Angel from Montgomery, the Tedeschi Trucks Band. Oh, back from uh, Infinity Hall back in 2015 for the Sock Puppet. Before that, we had Eric Clapton and Jeff Beck doing... Shake your money maker at Crossroads 2010, also for the sack puppet, and uh, we kicked it off there with a uh, uh, new an ode to, 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 to Kate's new boy uh, Levi. So uh, from the old Crow Medicine Show, uh, yeah, good music, uh, I tell you. So uh, welcome, new yeah. chatters. Welcome, welcome Jeremiah, and uh, who's the other guy? MJ MJC. MJC. Yep. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so tonight, earlier, and this kept my attention for like two hours. <laughs> okay. Breaking news comes over the thing, the Twitter thing, or whatever, or someone mentioned it in chat. I think my neighbor, Uff, mentioned it in chat. All right. That um, there's a shooting going on at a mall. A shopping mall in Wabatosa, Wisconsin, and apparently um, now they're saying 
Okay, so there was eight people injured, no deaths yet. Um, the shooter is still at large. Preliminary investigation has led us to believe this shooting was not a random act and was the result of an altercation. We will continue to work diligently to interview the many wit witnesses as well as the victims who were injured to identify and apprehend the suspect. So um, shortly before 9.30 p.m. local time tonight, the May wait, Mayfair Mall had been cleared and was secure. It's not open, obviously. Right. Um, they believe, it says, when emergency services arrived, the gunman was no longer on the scene, and there have not been any fatalities um, that he's aware of yet. Anyway, um, they're saying like seven adults and one child. And also, um, I, it's just, I don't know. It, it, Go ahead, say it. It's just. It's just ridiculous. I, I'm tired of this shit, you know what I mean? I'm I just do. like, if it was an altercation, that means like, you know, a fight started or something and someone pulled out a gun. I mean, that's a little bit different than, like, just some random person walking in the mall and starting to shoot it up. You know what I'm saying? Right. They were, they were, they had a specific... Doesn't make it right. I'm just saying it's not like these these ones that we hear of where it's some psycho just walks in and starts randomly gutting people down, you know? Exactly, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking it was, like they said, not a random thing, which is good, in some ways, but it's a huge mall. And you're All going right. to be hearing about this one for a couple of days at least. Yeah. So um, that's always great and exciting. And then I find out that – oh, shit. The video started. I find out that a teacher at my kid's uh, old high school was arrested today for child pornography. Possession of child pornography. So there you go. A, a, a kid. No, a teacher. Oh, a teacher. Okay. A teacher at the school. An active teacher at North High School was erected, arrested for uh, possession of child pornography today. Terrific. And he's been on unpaid leave. Or he'll he'll he'll, be, he'll end up getting fired. Even if he's found not guilty, mm -hmm. he'll lose his job. Well, let's hope so. You don't want them like someone like that around kids, right? No, no. I mean, <laughs> come on. Oh, it's just, isn't it a great world, Grim? Oh, it's terrific. I, it's it's beautiful. Are you having fun yet? I I always have fun. <laughs> well, that's good. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> yeah, I know it's different for for you folks that that you know. Yeah. That that. Uh, yeah, it's different for you folks that, that that actually like to be around people. So, um Yeah, and I, I know I, you're not you know, one of those I, kind of people. Stop that. Stop playing automatically. My god. Yeah. Anyway, so I I, okay. I mean, you know, I've been expecting for a long time that something something of this this type of uh craziness was coming for a long time. Um yeah. Right. A little redundant there. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. so uh, yeah. so you know when I when I, when I see uh, uh, this you know planned demic hoax demic uh, coming about, mm -hmm. I'm not really too surprised by it. Uh, it, it. It 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 makes sense to me that this was eventually going to get here. I don't know what took them so long for it to happen. Uh, maybe, right. Maybe they're just not as good at right, what they. Well, they had to do all their testing. Before they went live with it. Right, right, right. It took them a while to do all them test scenarios, you know. And 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 uh, and the follow-on tyranny uh, that that comes along with it that was expected. The the full-on uh, global economic collapse. Of course, we've we've been talking about that right. since day one. Um, we've been talking about that since day one of this show, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And, you know, even before this show, it, we we were talking about it, whether it was yeah. on the air or not. Although I we were know. talking about prepping and buying gold and buying yeah. silver and stocking up on stuff. And, and, and there was and there was plenty yeah. of people, plenty of people before us talking about it as well. Um, 
you know, go, going back yep, at least, yep. you know, at least 30 years or 20, 20 years, I mean. Uh, We've been talking about guns, ammo. So, um, so none yep. of this, none of this should really be a big surprise to. Uh, no. Well, I don't, I don't say to anybody, but. To, Not to, to people that have yeah, been aware people, of what's going on for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um. Yeah, yeah. And see, a girl, she points out, she said back when they were building the FEMA camps that they were probably getting right. ready for a planned pandemic uh, where they could get yep. neighbors narking on neighbors. And that, that's, yep. that's that's full full boy now. You know, that's oh, where, yeah. where, oh, this person's not wearing a mask! <laughs> right. They're, they got this seven... This person's not six feet away from me! They got, they got seven people in their house, you know, that's... Oh, my God, they have ten people over there. Oh, and they're not wearing masks. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, so all that kind of oh, stuff. Yeah, we better call it authorities. It's just like, come on, people. Mind your own fucking business, okay? Come on now. Right, right, right. Uh, don't be a tattletale. No one likes a narc, okay? No one likes a narc at all. No one likes a, uh, someone that's going to narc them out, be a... You know, be a fucking snitch, right, mess? You know, like my neighbor lady across the street. She literally must be constantly looking out the fucking window. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know oh. what I'm saying? To see what everyone's doing, make sure everyone's following the rules. You know. Right, right, and and, and she was doing that long before this pandemic came along. Yeah, she was doing that two years ago. Yeah, so um... <laughs> it, it, it's like, lady, do you really have not not have a life? I mean. Really? Do you have to be that invasive and that nosy? I mean, what's that lady? She's like uh, Gladys Credits. Yeah, yeah. From Bewitched or whatever. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, the, that that nasty neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> snitches get stitches, Jeremy. Jeremiah. Yeah, that, that weird high pitched voice she had. Yeah, <laughs> snitches get stitches. That's the, that's the same. Um, yeah, it's like, you know, no one likes a neighbor that's going to constant, that's going to call her cops on you for minor shit. Right. Okay. You don't want that kind of neighbor, you know? Sure. If someone was like, obviously breaking into my house mm -hmm. that, and she's noticed it happening, that would be a good, yeah, call cops. Then, you know what I mean? But other than that, I really don't see why you have to be so fucking nosy. I really don't. I, I don't either. Anyway, on the, uh, on the, uh. The, mm -hmm. the Corona Bologna stuff here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I came across this, this article uh, a couple days ago. Uh, it's on the New York Post. Uh, man who died after falling from a 10-foot ladder was actually killed by COVID. <laughs> right. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yep. Because, oh, you know what they could say? Well, he had the COVID, and he didn't know it, and all of a sudden he had this dizziness attack, and it fell off the ladder. So, yeah, COVID. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Even though they can't confirm that, they, they'll just make something up. Anyway, it says a construction worker who died after plunging from a 10-foot ladder in Croatia was actually killed by corona, doctors said in a report. The unnamed 51-year-old man fell into his yard while building a home earlier this year and suffered cuts and bruises to his head. Uh, the okay. builder the builder was declared dead at the scene, but an autopsy later revealed that corona had indirectly caused the accident because of the effects of the illness were disorienting. Um, what? Well, see? Just like I said. Exactly like you said. He got dizzy because exactly of like corona, and he fell off the ladder. So d during the autopsy, doctors yep. found that large swaths of the man's lungs were blocked, which may or may not have been a corona-type thing. It, he could have had blocked lungs anyway. We don't know. The, the finding led yeah. scientists to conclude that he suffered from acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, ARDS uh, a life-threatening condition that can uh, be caused by corona. Uh, based on all findings, the death was ruled as natural, caused by Corona. Oh yes, okay. Uh, the dude fell off a freaking ladder. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what killed his ass. That's what killed his ass. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah. Any, anyway, there's, there's that. Um, okay, over in Denmark, uh, they had put up a thing, a new law, mm -hmm. 
a new law that they were going to force vaccinate the, the entire uh, population over there. Yeah. Well, they protested. Now, okay. I am not a fan of protests. I don't really believe protests do any good um, mm -hmm. pretty much ever. But apparently in Denmark, it worked. And the the law vaccination law in Denmark has been repealed. Uh, oh wow! Af after these protests, so yeah, law in Denmark would have given authorities the power power to forcibly inject people with coronavirus vaccine has been abandoned after nine days of public protests. So I don't think Flash or Circ were probably out there, but uh, you, you never know. Um, Not yet, but they'll probably listen. Uh, the epidemic law would... I, no, I, I mean, we're out there protesting. Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. probably not, yeah. Uh, the epidemic law would have handed the Danish government the power to enact mandatory quarantine measures against anyone infected cases cases with a dangerous, mm -hmm. a dangerous disease. But it was the part about the vaccination that caused the biggest uproar. Uh, I think that was Peru, Beth. I think you're talking about Peru, and I, we, I think we came to the conclusion that that wasn't the crowd making that song, or maybe I'm getting mixed up. I mean, the only footage I watched recently was in Peru. Oh, well, these guys... Where these, they were... It was like the whole... Oh, okay. NL. What's they, NL? Oh, another, another one? Another okay. One. Yeah, these guys in Denmark, they were out there banging pots and pans. Oh, okay. And, 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 and being rowdy and, and saying, okay. we're not going to take your vaccine. Hey, it's going to happen. Okay, I got my my protest mixed up. Yeah, well, there's so many at this point in time. Yeah, <laughs> which so which many. is a perfect lead in to the next the next article. Well, Denmark is not the Netherlands, though. No, it's not. The Netherlands is totally different than Denmark. And don't so, and don't don't tell. Oh, there, you, oh, I'm like, oh, there's a link room there. <laughs> you put it in there. Yeah, don't don't uh... don't, don't tell Cirque she lives in the Netherlands. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know this. <laughs> So anyway, it, it's not just them. Yeah, same area. It, it's not, uh, yes, it's in right, same part of the world. Uh, anyway, it's not just them. All across Europe, uh, the, this yes. is going on on the mm -hmm. offguardian.org here. Anti-lockdown protests all across Europe. Increasingly draconian lockdown measures, economic destitution, and sweeping yeah. police powers are evaporating public trust and eroding public patience. Uh, as the alleged second wave of the coronavirus pandemic is reported to be sweeping across Europe in recent weeks, many governments have enthusiastically embraced their totalitarian side and granted themselves... How do you do that? Can I just grant myself power? Sweeping new powers? Oh, sure, try it, go for yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so alongside the lockdown measures, uh, the public has been markedly less cooperative this time around, rebelling against the seemingly, not, not seemingly, totally arbitrary limitations, which are not supported by either science or common sense. Protests have taken place all across the continent. In Germany, thousands of people gathered in Berlin over the last few days, protesting the Merkel government passing a new lockdown law, police turned water cannons on the crowds, and, oh, there, nice. and, and nearly 200 people were arrested. Uh, the, main, the, the mainstream, uh, the, the clap, uh, re reported hundreds of protesters, but as pictures plainly show, it's tens of thousands. Of, of course, yeah, the, the media is always going to you know, downplay or, or play to the government's point of view. In Spain, after the Prime Minister of Spain, Pedro Sanchez, declared the sixth month of state of emergency in late October, there were days of protests across the country. Barcelona, already a hotbed of anti-government feeling due to the brutal repression of the Catalan independence referendum, saw violent confrontations between riot uh, police and protesters. In France... Macron's uh, brand new comprehensive security law, known by protesters as the gag law, would further militarize French police whilst making it a crime to capture or distribute the image of a police officer. Uh, it, it met fervent resistance in the shape of angry marches through the city across the country. 
Um, in Italy, the anti-lockdown protests in Italy reached a fever pitch in late October and were probably the most extensive on the continent. Uh, marches occurred in dozens of cities across the country, including Rome, Naples, Genoa, and Bologna. Hey, Corona Bologna! Um, Corona Bologna! <laughs> The, the mainstream media went out of their way to undercut and smear the protests. CNN and Reuters reported only hundreds of protesters. There's a photo here that says, does this look like hundreds? There's many thousands in this photo. Uh, Politico went so far as to actually blame the protests on the mafia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't make this up. Slovakia. Bratislava was home to a huge march of protesters on November 17th, marking the national holiday known as Fight for Freedom Day. And these marches were illegal under Slovakian emergency law, notionally designed to prevent the spread of the Corona Bologna. In Denmark, as we talked about previously, the Danish parliament was subject to nine days of protests right outside its doors in opposition to the proposed vaccination law, which would allow the police to physically coerce vaccination through detainment. Uh, oh, my fucking God. After nine days of protest... So don't break the fucking law, because they could put throw your ass in the clink and inject that shit into you. Right, right. It's, 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 it's like the no-refusal law down there in Texas. Yeah, well, where, basically, you don't want to be breaking the law right now anyway, in any way, shape, or fucking form, okay? Anyway, there's there's more to this story, but... Yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything like that here. No, I, I haven't seen any of these big things going on here, um, uh, as, as far as that goes. Yeah, all we had was the, was the BLM Antifa bullshit. We didn't, we didn't, we yeah. didn't, well, we didn't, we didn't have any anti-lockdown protests, and I still have not seen any. Um, no, so. I haven't seen one anti-lockdown protest in no, the U.S. No, no, no. I mean, I, I guess you could consider Sturgis an anti-lockdown protest, but right, it's that an, was it's one an, it's probably. Not, it's not. It's an annual event, and they just didn't care about the stupid idiots making stupid idiot laws. And of course, in South well, Dakota, South Dakota was never shut down. Yeah, right. In South Dakota, they, it was never a thing. Um, uh, so. Uh, <laughs> so hooray for her um, anyway well yeah I mean Beth makes a point there too that a lot of those European countries are tiny okay compared to some, even our state and our our whole country as a whole mm -hmm. I mean there's a lot less pe or a lot more people in a smaller space over there in these countries in oh, yeah. Europe, oh yeah absolutely you know what I mean right right because, like, like, Denmark itself is smaller than, like, uh, this state. It, it's, it's a, Denmark's a tiny country. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. tiny. I mean, yeah. what would it be, like, the size of New Jersey? Yeah, maybe something like that. I, I don't know the exact uh, thing, but I know it's, yeah, it's I mean, definitely it's smaller, big. smaller than the, the state of New Mexico where I live, where there's less than two million people. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than not. I, I don't. I don't know how many people live in Denmark, but I know that the the area is much less. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. All right, we're gonna play some more music here. All right, let's do that. We'll come back, and I I got some uh, other nonsense to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I got some too. It, yeah. it never stops. We never oh, run out yeah. of material on our it, show. It, 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 it's that, impossible. That, that, that's 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 true. Oh, let me fix this. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man, I, it's just, uh, it's a wild world, as they say. Who's that, Cat Stevens? Yeah. All right. Indigenous. And he did it like. Yeah, we don't get to hear that next one because it's not on the video. Uh, that's a buddy guy doing FIVA. Yeah. Uh, before that was dire straits with industrial disease. And we kicked it off there with Indigenous. I wonder why. All sock puppet requests. So if you're liking the music, raise, raise your hand up to the sky and say, Thank you, sock puppet! <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. He liked his blues. He liked his guitars. He was a good musician, an excellent guitar player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He um, was. Yeah, he, and he was just, he was a master of like, Master Carpenter, right? He was a fisherman. 
Right. Um, he lived down in Florida, so he did that deep sea fishing a lot. Right. Um, right. Just a really smart guy, a really um, yeah, very intelligent man, very intelligent, very talented as far as building and creating things. And um, and then he was a musician too, which isn't surprising. A lot of really amazing people are also musicians. So exactly. You know. Yeah. But anyway, he was a long time chatter here and he will be missed. We've been wondering what the hell is up with him. Um, sadly, it wasn't good news and yeah, um he's left us left this realm anyway today. This morning, early this morning. Eleven twenty twenty twenty. Eleven twenty twenty twenty. There I mean, you go. I, I'm hearing me on your side there. Hello, what? Oh, I forgot to switch. I swear to God, I did it. I switched it. I did, motherfucker. I, I, not you. I did, though. <laughs> hey, I'm a motherfucker. Not you. Yeah, me. I'm the motherfucker. Okay. No, anyway, I, I, I am a mother. mother. I've, I've fucked several mothers. You, okay. Well, then I wasn't incorrect. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I, I, I got. I got some, a couple stories here about this. Uh, okay. Dominion bullshit. All right. So so we we we, we can uh, talk about that. Um, okay. The first story from earlier this week: uh, the vice president of U.S. Engineering, Eric Coomer, uh, shared mm-hmm. anti-Trump posts online. He's the uh, uh, Dominion engineer there. And what did okay. and what did he tell his people? Oh, by the way, his people. Yeah, it's Antifa. That's who his people are. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Makes sense. So, so Dominion's top engineer assured Antifa activists that he had made fucking sure that President <laughs> Donald Trump would not win the presidential race, according to reports. Okay, you know what that is, though? Tell me. You know what that is? Tell me. Fucking treason! Oh yeah, oh, except uh, is he? I don't know if he's American. It's fucking treason. I'm not sure. It's he, illegal. I'm not sure he's American. It's unethical. It's all of these things. Oh my god. All right, so I'm not. I'm not sure if he's American, but um, it says he's yeah, the vice. Yeah, probably per- not. Well, it says he's the vice president of U.S. Engineering for Dominion, so uh, I, I guess yeah. it could be yep. so. Uh, so he allegedly spoke with the Antifa members on a conference calls and reportedly assured the other participants by saying, don't worry about the elections. Trump's not going to win. I made fucking sure of that. So Dominion, All right, I made fucking sure of that. Yeah, Dominion voting system. Orange man is bad. She cannot win. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's but, like, dude, get the chip out of your fucking head. Yeah, Dominion Voting Systems is one of the largest voting technology companies in the U.S. of A., probably in the world. Uh, it provides voting machines and tabulator, tabulators to many local governments. Uh, more than 30 states use these voting machines to scan ballots in the U.S. and tabulate votes. Uh, Coomer's profile as director at Dominion Voting System was recently scrubbed uh, from from the uh, what's this website? The the one where you I forget the name of it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, they have been scrubbing them. Coomer joined Dominion as VP of Engineering in 2010. Uh, his bio says he's graduate from University of California, Berkeley, with a Ph.D. in nuclear physics. Well, what the hell is he doing? He's a nuclear physicist, and what's he doing with these voting machines? All right. Eric Coomer was later promoted to voting systems officer of strategy and security. Uh-huh. Real good there. Although Coomer has uh, since been removed uh, from the Dominion page of directors. Uh, In a stunning interview conducted by Michelle Balkin, uh, FEC, uh, Faith Education Commerce, whatever that is, uh, United founder uh, Joe Altman reveals how he infiltrated Antifa. While working undercover, Altman says that he was involved in a conversation with the Antifa members when he discovered Eric from Dominion was allegedly part of the chat during the week of September uh, 27, 2020, so just a couple of months ago. Uh, Altman explained that Eric was telling the Antifa members that they need to keep up the pressure. When Altman asked, who's Eric? Someone answered, he's the Dominion guy. Um, anyway, that, that, that's, that's, you got, you got the basic gist of what I'm trying to get, get across there for you. Um, 
<laughs> so then uh, a couple of days ago, this this story comes out. Yesterday, I guess it was on the Gateway Pundit. Huge, huge, huge. Um, <laughs> Attorney Sidney Powell confirms alleged Dominion servers in Germany were confiscated. So last week, uh, Representative Louis Gomer, Gomer uh, told Chris Salcedo on Newsmax that people on the ground in Germany report that I don't know how to pronounce this S C Y T L sickle sickle whatever, which hosted elections data improperly through Spain, was raided by the United States Army, uh, a large U.S. Army force, and their servers were seized in Frankfurt. The video went viral. Here's what Louis Gohmert had to say about this alleged raid. Uh, it's a video. I'm not going to share it with you. Um, so, uh, anyway, from our source, the United States government, uh, once they determined that this Dominion server was involved in switching votes, the intelligence community began a search for the server and discovered that the server was in Germany. In order to get access to that server and to have it available for use in a legal manner, uh, they had to have the State Department work in tandem with the Department of Justice uh, they had to request that the government of Germany cooperate in allowing the seizure of this server. The appropriate documents required to effect that kind of seizure were put in place, signed off on, and it appears there were also U.S. military support in this operation. The U.S. military was not in the lead, but this helps explain why Esper was fired and Miller and Cash Patel were put in place. So, uh, so the, that the military would not interfere in any way with the operation. Uh, but by getting a hold of the server, they now have to have the direct evidence of when they were instructed to stop counting. Uh, they were also discover the uh, direction, what, who, who gave direction to stop counting and who initiated the algorithm that started switching votes. The CIA was completely excluded from this operation. Uh, so during the press conference on Thursday, Attorney Sidney Powell weighed in on the Dominion Smartmatic servers uh, that were re reportedly confiscated in Germany. Uh, report reporter Emerald Robinson said there were no reports that a piece of hardware, possibly a server, was picked up in Germany. Is that true? Is it related to this? Powell said that is true. Uh, it, it is somehow related to this, but I do not know if the good guys got it or the bad guys got it. So we don't know where the server is that has all this evidence of, of the vote switching going on. Um, anyway, uh, these, these uh, scumbags, <laughs> these scumbags did all this nasty stuff and they are not happy about it, uh, about, about this kind of stuff going on. And, and if you listen to the clap, the, the corporate layman's propaganda, uh, then you, you're still going to get the same, well, with no evidence, Trump keeps on saying blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think, Liz? You there? Uh, yeah, I think shenanigans and fuckery took place. Um, no way in fucking hell did Biden get the popular vote. No way in fucking hell. There were shenanigans uh, in every state. Especially the Democratic states, okay? In Wisconsin it happened. In Michigan it happened. In PA it happened. In Georgia it happened. In Florida, well, Florida, I think he won. Trump did. Yeah, he won. But it happened everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, California, five minutes after they closed their goddamn poll, their, their polling places, they released the results. How in the fuck can that happen? And yet PA, that's on the East Coast, still doesn't have their results. I don't know what the fuck. Did they, I don't know what's up with PA. I think they said Biden now, but I don't know. Yeah, well. Then Georgia did a recount. Now they're saying Biden there, too. Right. You know, and it's interesting, though, that Trump was in the lead, like, at 4 a.m., you know, People were watching the results and, and like mid, and, uh, He was in, in lead yeah. in Pennsylvania at, at midnight, yep. like 800,000 yep. votes ahead, 800,000 yeah, votes. Yeah. And then they shut down the counting, 
and and, and right, and, they stopped the counting. Right. And then and and, and then uh, around four thirty, uh, they said, "All right, now Biden's in the lead." But, yeah, Biden's in the lead magically. It was like the numbers just switched <laughs> to Biden in favor of Biden. You know, and uh, and then in Georgia though, in some county or whatever, they claim that a water main broke. Okay. On election day, how convenient, right? Right. So there was a lot of shenanigans going on all over this fucking country, dude. And Minnesota, I can't prove it, but I guarantee you there were shenanigans in Minnesota because I I get it that Minneapolis-St. Paul area, that's all for Biden. Most majority is for Biden. Right. But all around that the whole rest of the state is is for Trump, okay? Yeah. Because of the Iron Range, because of the truckers, because of the farmers, because of the hunters that want their Second Amendment intact, right? Yeah. And the same with PA. They didn't want Biden in PA because they want to keep their jobs, dude. Right. You know, Obama got rid of their jobs. And Trump brought them back. Yeah. So you cannot tell me. There's a chance in hell that fucking Biden won PA. No. No not. fucking way. No. no. No fucking way. I saw the rallies, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Right. There's no fucking way he won that. No. Without cheating. Okay? Uh, no, no chance at all. No None. chance at all. And though, that is like the hugest state right there as far as electoral votes and this whole, you know, all that shit. You all know right, what I mean? There's, there's only 20 votes. 20. Yeah, but 20. that's not the hugest right. state. Texas has more. No, Cal- it's not. California right. has more. Um, right. Yeah. Right. A- anyway, yeah, it's just. Now, I've I've heard rumors that if the if mm-hmm. the votes if because they of course they use it in California too, uh, right. that if the the votes in California were not swapped around, um, Trump would have won California. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and, and the AG, AG posted a link for the Georgia First Pipe story. All right, anyway. But as soon as I heard that story on, on November 3rd, I'm like, that seems all kinds of fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah. That seems all kinds of fucked up. Absolutely. Uh, anyway, you know, this, that uh, just seems like something's up there, you know. This other link that AG posted uh, from mm-hmm. conservativetoday.org, boom, mm-hmm. attorney Sidney Powell confirms I am hearing that it, that it was our forces who confiscated the sickle servers in Germany. Um, so apparently yesterday... That is good. That's a good thing. Yep. Uh, on yesterday during the campaign yep. press conference, uh, yep. Attorney Sidney Powell weighed in on the Dominion Smartmatic servers that were reportedly right. confiscated in Germany. I mean, even if you're... Okay, I've heard this argument. I don't know how much I subscribe to it, but... And I know it's not going to happen that Democrats are going to be like, yeah, you know, we we should have a fair election. No, they don't. You know, want fair. And above board. They, you know, they, but they, in, in 2016, it was the other way around, right? Yeah. But then Hillary conceded because they didn't rig it enough in 2016. Saito. And they, okay. right, they didn't rig it good enough. So then 2018 happened, which it wasn't a presidential race, but Maxine Waters. You know, and all these other people, they fucking rigged that shit then in 2018. Yeah. Well, now it's 2020 with the presidential election, and they're doing the same fucking thing. Because you cannot tell me that Maxine goddamn piece of shit waters, who doesn't even live in her goddamn district, won. Because the guy running against her is a black guy, he's a younger guy, he lives in L.A. County. He grew up there. He's from there, okay? Yeah. yeah. And he had a huge following. So sh- tons of shenanigans went on in California. I guarantee you they did. Because Maxine Waters, they do not like, those people in her district do not like her, dude. Right. They don't. Because she lives in this mansion, not even in L.A. County. You know? It- it's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And the guy that was running against her, and then... Ilhan Omar won again, and yeah. I get her district. There's a lot of Somalian people that live there. Right. But I guarantee you there were shenanigans there. She was ballot harvesting, 
Okay? Right. And AOC won again with right. how? I mean, come on. <laughs> really? I, I just there, there was more shenanigans than just the presidential aspect. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, they they, they you know to. I mean yeah yeah yep. Of course, the uh, the the mega liberal um, person here in uh, New Mexico running for uh, the um, house, uh, she lost to a uh, to a Republican here. Um, that's good. Social Torres Small, Social Torres Small. Okay. Uh, Is it a woman? Yeah, it's a woman. What's the name? Sochil. It's X O C H. Oh, okay. Is she from Mexico or something, or is it Latino or something? I don't know what the hell she is. Um, she looks Mexican. <laughs> I'll say okay, that. whatever. It doesn't matter. I just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so she 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 had lost two years ago to this other woman running this uh, Yvette Harrell. Um, she had lost to her, and then like the day or two late days later. They said, oh, no, 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 we found a bunch of more votes, and, and Sochil Torres Small won. Well, apparently they didn't do it this time uh, because she lost by a huge margin to, to this event hero woman. Oh, okay. So, so hmm. not, that I, yeah. not that I like either one of them, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so this, uh, uh, this, this thing that, that it, according to the article AG posted, that it was our, mm-hmm. our people, whatever that means, uh, our forces that confiscated the Sictal servers. That's or Army or Cytal, Special Ops Cytal, or something. Sightal servers. Um, yep. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, I mean, it's it, they didn't even try to hide it. I mean, there is a clip well, floating you know, around you know, up there with Biden saying they developed a fraudulent, a, a way to rig the election or whatever. However, well, all, he all, I, it. All, I, all I got to say. Mm-hmm. Because they better come through with the freaking data. They better come through they better. Uh, with the yep. evidence or else this is just going to be. Right. It's going to be, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it'll be a total clusterfuck if not. Yeah, it will. It's, it already is. I mean. Well, I mean, but... uh, yeah, you know, uh, if, if they don't if they don't come up with the evidence, if they don't show, because uh, uh, th- these servers are supposed to show when, when the voting was shut down, the adjustment of the algorithms. Uh, and and in the in the flipping of the votes, that's all supposed to all right. be on on this server. So they Good. they Good. better they better freaking have the evidence. Or they else, better, or else it's it's over. Yeah. It's over, right? Yeah. And, and you know, yeah. let me just talk about this first. Um, I got this link from a chatter. Um, it says um, ten days of darkness update. Yeah. Presented by the Seeds of Wisdom team. The plan, oh my God, take the time to read this, 10 Days of Darkness. We've read, we read about this on the Q board for years. Uh, no, Q is not a conspiracy theory. That's in parentheses. There have been many times where many, myself included, um, including myself, have thought we were in it. But all of us were wrong. Trump won the election, and then overnight he had it stolen from him. Anyway, I, it's very long. I can't go into it. Yeah. But okay. um, Biden did say, we're going into a dark winter. Right. And I don't know what the hell he means by that. I don't you know, know what, what he is, means by it either. I don't know what that means. Like, what does that fucking mean? <laughs> Nothing good. Nothing good. No, it can't be good. I mean, like he said, though, he wants the national mask mandate. Right. He wants to lock it down, lock the country down for four to six weeks, which we've heard this song and dance before. Oh, yeah. Back in February or whatever the fuck it was. Fifteen days to slow the spread. Right. Okay. It, it, now we're what nine months later, eight months later. At least nine months, yeah, I'd say nine. Nine months, months later, it, 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 you know, and then they keep extending it, extending it, and it, it's just like, and now it's the vaccine thing, and it's like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. And your vaccine, okay, your warp speed. That I mean, okay, Trump was under a lot of pressure, okay, from Fauci and the, you know. The CDC, whoever, you know what I'm saying? Right. 
so, but I don't trust this vaccine. I, I, I will not get it. One thing that Trump did say, and I, when I called into Clyde's show, and he actually proved me correct, that I told, I said, Clyde, he said that he will not mandate the vaccine. He's like, well, Clyde's like, well, he said the military is going to distribute. I said, yeah, he might have said that, but he didn't, he said he was, would not mandate it. And so someone that was listening to the show sent him a link saying exactly what I had said that he said he would not mandate it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He said it would be available. It would be free. The army would distribute it, but he also said it would not be mandatory. But you right. know, Biden, he wants everyone vaccinated. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. And not in with the Gates one. Apparently, there's five or six different fucking vaccinations now for this thing. Right. It's like, what the fuck? Well, this company is making this kind, and this company is making that kind, and this company is making this one over here. And it's like, it, it, you people are fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, here's... Uh, well, you know, well, this one's 85%, and this one's 90% effective. Oh, well, this one's 95% effective, so use ours instead. <sighs> Do you guys see what's going on here? Yeah, well, here... here you you oh, see the, right, the, the, the here, forest through the trees? Uh, t- tell, tell me if this tells you what's going on here. Okay. On Summit News, uh, a couple days ago, Klaus Schwab. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice guy. <laughs> Great, not. Re- great reset will lead to a fusion of our physical, digital, and biological identity. Implantable microchips that can read your thoughts. So uh, the globalist Klaus Schwab made it clear that transhumanism is an integral part of the great reset. When he said that the fourth industrial revolution would lead to a fusion of our physical, digital, and biological identity, which in his book, he clarifies, is implantable microchips that can read your thoughts. As we highlighted earlier, the Great Reset is attracting a deluge of fresh attention in the aftermath of the coronavirus planned pandemic, which uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said was an opportunity for a reset. The agenda is primarily based around dismantling the current capitalist system in favor of a greater centralized technocratic rule, which will lead to a lower living standard, less fuel consumption, fewer civil liberties, and an accelerated automation of jobs. However, another key aspect to the Great Reset, or the Fourth Industrial Revolution, as Schwab calls it, is merging man with machine. What the fourth industrial revolution will lead, a, lead to is a fusion of our physical, digital, and biological identity, um, Schwab told the Council on Global Affairs. So he went on to explain in his book, shaping the future of the fourth industrial revolution was particularly popular in China, South Korea, and Japan, with the South Korean military alone purchasing 16,000 copies. In the book, Schwab explains with excitement how upcoming technology will allow authorities to intrude into hitherto private space of our minds, reading our thoughts and influencing our behavior. He goes on to predict that this will provide an incentive for law enforcement to implement minority report-style pre-crime programs. As capabilities in this area improve, the temptation for law enforcement agencies and courts to use techniques to determine the likelihood of criminal activity, assess guilt, or even possibly retrieve memories directly from people's brains will increase. Uh, uh, Even crossing the national border might one day involve a detailed brain scan to assess an individual's security risk. It goes on. Um, <laughs> but but you get you get you get what's going on there. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say. Yeah. Um, this this Schwab, it was. Well, I, I, he he is one of many many, uh, really total evil Jeez. fuckers. Um, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So um, on 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 the heels of that. Mm-hmm. 
or maybe preceding that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Because um, <laughs> this was actually from uh, 31st of October. Uh, Peter Hitchens, you know Peter Hitchens, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Right. This is true. This is a, this mm-hmm. to some degree is true. Some of us have definitely noticed, but some of us have not, or many of us have not. Not us, but them. Many of they have not. <laughs> the, <laughs> the dictators have taken over, and we didn't even dictator. notice. Dictator, double two words, dictator. Dictator, yes, yes, and we didn't even notice. Yeah, that's 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 the case. Uh, there yeah, was, well, uh, some people noticed. All right, like I, like I said, some we of even noticed they were twelve fucking year over twelve years. We we and noticed. We've been noticing it for a while. We we noticed, but you look out there at the. Uh, yeah, they don't fuck. They're just fucking people that watch CNN. The ones that are report, the ones that are reporting you for not having a mask. They didn't notice. Yeah. Oh, they're not wearing a mask. Oh my God, they're not six feet apart from each other. There was once a. Famous... Oh my God, they have more than ten people at their house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's so, call the cops on them. Yep. Yeah. Call them. Report them. Call the call the Stasi. All right. There was once a famous Chinese executioner who so skillfully with his razor edge sword that the crowds would pay to watch him behead criminals. One day he came to a small provincial town where the authorities had given him a large fee to do away with a notorious killer. He entered the arena and made several elegant and delicate passes with his weapon. The condemned man sat gloomily before him, looking unimpressed with all this fuss. Just get on with it, he growled. The executioner bowed politely, smiled, and said softly, Kindly nod, please. The murderer did so, and his head, already parted from his body by a stroke of the incredible swiftness, tumbled from his shoulders. I think we, in this country, are like that condemned man. The terrible thing has been done to us, but we have not yet realized it. It may have been that the British Revolution, a horror that that country has repeatedly escaped by good sense and natural conservatism, has actually taken place. In a lecture astonishing, in a lecture of astonishing power and force last week, the former Supreme Court judge Lord Sumption revealed in sad detail what has happened to our country in the name of Corona. I have placed a copy of it on a recording on the Peter Hitchens blog, and I strongly advise you read and watch it. It says that Parliament has been allowed or has elbowed aside by ministers who rule by decree, by fiat. Now, Jonathan Sumption is not just a brilliant lawyer. He is also a distinguished historian. Last year, he, anyway, just, 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 uh, you need to look, read through this. Yourself, and, uh, and, and if you don't understand what's happened here, what's gone on, um, if you if you don't realize that you're not living in a democracy or a republic no. or a democratic no. republic, right? Uh, you're living in a totalitarian dictatorship. That's what you're living in. If you haven't, yes. if you haven't opened your eyes to all the stuff that's going on out there. I don't know what else to tell you other than, look, read, pay attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to play more music after all okay, that. Okay, let's do that. After all that horrible stuff. <laughs> right, yeah, and we got more stuff to talk about. When oh, we, we still got yeah. plenty. We don't run out of material here. On the show. We yeah, never the, do. It's those, never an issue. Those, yeah. those those frogs are well boiled at this point, Jim. Oh um, yeah, they're boiling. <laughs> at a rapid boil right now. We're at a rapid boil now. They're going, Whoo, it's hot in here. It's a hot tub. <laughs> it's Woo-hoo. hot in here. <laughs> Woohoo. It's getting a little bit too warm though. Woohoo. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Dubliners. All right. Oh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Corey Stevens, blues are here to stay. Uh, Before that, Joe Walsh turned to stone back in 1972. 
And we kicked it off there with the Dubliners Black Velvet Band. Uh, I dig that that Irish style, the Irish music. Oh, band. I love that music. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's great stuff. Anyway, more I sock puppet, Irish more, music. more yep. sock puppet requests there for you. So uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sock. I, you know, um, you were an interesting chatter. You were a very smart chatter, and you had a lot of bots in the chat. And right. you weren't afraid to tell it like how you felt, you know. I mean, that's a lot. That's great. I mean, we're gonna miss you. And, and, and you we've still been have. wondering about him, you know. And all of a sudden, we find out news on him, and it's totally devastating. It's like, oh my fucking god, you know what I mean? Right. And then we just there was another chatter, Don. I be Don C. I be Don C. And what was it about a year ago now, right? Yeah, a little over a year. He passed suddenly. And we're just like, what the hell? Well, you know, the you thing know. is, and I, and I don't know that this has anything to do with these two. Um, yeah. But uh, we're all getting older. We're, yeah, we are. We're, we're, it's, we're, it's reality, <laughs> you know. Yeah. and uh, I mean, we're what, on our 12th year of this show, Grim? Yeah, almost 13 now. 12 years ago, yeah, uh, uh, 13 years ago, my kids were seven. <laughs> They're 20 now. Hello? <laughs> You right, know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, A.G., you're still younger than me and Grimnir. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, you're still a yeah. whippersnapper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Spring chicken. <laughs> Spring chicken. Yeah. Right. Any, oh, God. So, um, <laughs> what are you going to talk about? Let me see. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Breaking news. Breaking news. It's not really surprising, but I don't know if any of you all follow Andy NGO. Yeah, I do. On Twitter? Okay. Anyway, he apparently is reporting uh, there's businesses being uh, smashed up. Well, apparently they're doing this on a weekly basis. You know, if, if they want to smash no, up the No, I don't think so, H.E. If, no. If they want to smash up their Maybe, own town. Maybe. I can't remember your age, girl. I don't know. Oh, sorry, Grim. Go ahead. I say, if they want to smash up their own town, go for it. I, I mean, Port, yeah, Port, I, Portland is an Antifa town. So if Antifa is smashing yeah, up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, I feel bad for the people that are still living there, but the business right. owners, I you mean, know. that's where Clyde Lewis Studio is. Yeah. So I always am concerned about, I mean, they seriously, when in the summer, when they were doing their shows in their Portland studio, they literally had to go down the back way and to avoid the fucking rioting and shit. Yeah. Like, it was scary, though. No, I can't remember, AG, I, how old you are, but I thought you were younger than me. I turned, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I, I turned 60 in August, AG. So and I'm, a, I'm good so to I'm be 54. A, so, so. I, so I'm officially old at 60. Yeah, Grim's officially over the hill now. Yeah. yeah. But he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yeah, you uh, thought you were going to die like two years ago, didn't you, Grim? Six years ago. Oh, well, no, what was that, though? You remember you had that thing where you fell or whatever? Oh, no, that was before that even. Was it? I think no. so. Yeah, yeah. I, was See, I lose track of time too. What? Yeah, yeah. I was I was talking to uh, Solomon on the thing. That's when we were we were still doing video on this show, you know, of ourselves of our faces. Right, right, right. And uh, so everybody got everybody got to watch me fall over. Bro. Yeah, we got to see like what, all of a sudden Grim's there, and then he's like not there, and we're like, what in the hell is happening? Yeah, here? I just we're totally. Like, oh my god. I just totally blacked out or passed out or I don't know what. And uh, and I woke up. Yeah, on the, uh, it was weird, dude. I woke up on the floor here. I'm like, where the hell am I? Yeah, <laughs> I had, you're like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah, I, I had no idea. I was. Uh, but, we don't uh, even know. You don't even know what today what that was, do you? Or no, did you figure I, out why I know. That happened? It, it happened to me one time before, like when I was in my twenties, you know. So, oh, okay. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. uh, but not since then. And you know, mm -hmm. in between that 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 time gap, nothing ever happened. So, right, right. So but now um, you got the shoulder thing going on. Yeah, you know these damn fingers. Uh, I'm not sure. I, 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 you know, I, I feel in this. 
I don't know what arthritis mm-hmm. feels like, but I think I might have that. Arthritis? Yeah, you're at the age where it would yeah. start setting in. And in, in these, in these, sadly, yeah. In these two fingers, anyway. Right, <laughs> but like, just keep exercise unless it causes you pain. It does cause me pain. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The, what? Yeah, the exercise is good. I got my things. My little, yeah, good. Yeah, you got your little egg, um, egg squeezy things. <laughs> I, I wish they were bigger. They're like the size of a, a like a, a medium or, or large egg, but I wish they were But like you a, probably have man, like meat meat hooks, we called them. Yeah, Your hands yeah. are probably like meat hooks. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what my dad used to call big hands on a man, meat right, hooks. Right, right. I, I could use a yeah, lot bigger that hands. Was, yeah. You got meat hooks? Yeah, I was dazed, man. Yeah. yeah, I bet, because my dad, that's, it, this is an old school term, but it was a thing people said about people with big hands. They had meat hooks. Yeah, yeah I had no idea what happened. And I don't then. know where that came from. You know, I'd have to look that up, but that's serious. And then, you know, we call um, teeth choppers, like fake teeth choppers. Yeah. But I didn't know what those mittens you know that those leather mittens that have like the sheepskin inside? Those are called choppers too. Okay. And I think I told this story before, but one night, one time I was up at, when I lived in Superior, and they were talking about they kept saying, "Oh, I have my choppers on and stuff." And I'm like, "Are you guys talking about teeth?" And they just busted out laughing. They're like, "No, why would you say that?" I'm like, "Because you guys are saying choppers." I'm like, "Isn't that teeth?" And they just busted out laughing, dude. Because they were from like northern Minnesota, and I was from Minneapolis, right? So I didn't, I didn't know about these mittens that were called choppers. Okay. <laughs> and so here I think it, when they're talking about choppers, they're talking about fake teeth, because that's what my grandfather called his dentures. <laughs> choppers. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that's just a sidetrack, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh God! <sighs> yeah. I mean, it, it, this year is so fucked up, dude. It's just, you know, when stuff happens like tonight with the mall shooting, you know, mm-hmm, it's just mm-hmm. like okay, you know, that's par for the course. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And so, okay, we I got into a con- or a little bit of a discussion in the chat room and Clyde's channel last night about. Do you remember back with the Tremont? Trayvon Martin case, Grim. Sure. Remember that case yeah, in the yeah. Florida in Florida. Right. Um, and basically that's how BLM got started, basically supposedly, okay. But last night, I mean, there's still people that think that George Zimmerman was in the right, dude. And I remember when that happened because I was. Really, I was hooked on that story. I was delved into it. I did a deep dive on that story, and I listened to the audio that they put out, and I could tell that that kid was self defending, was doing self defense, and so I knew that this fucking Zimmerman was fucking guilty, dude. You know. Right. But the jury found him not guilty. Right. But then he went and did some other shit and got busted. You know, but my point is with that story, that guy took it upon himself to be judge, jury, and ex- executioner that night when he had no business doing that. No, he, he was, was like was... patrolling. The cops didn't ask him to do that. He was patrolling because there had been some break-ins in the area, right? He, he was stalking that dude. But he wasn't dude. a cop. What? He was Sorry. stalking that dude. Yeah, he was because he thought that that kid was the same kid that had done some, supposedly did break, break-ins or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so he, and the kid, Trayvon, he was only walking from like 7-Eleven back to his, where he was staying that night. It was like his mom or his dad's house. Right. And this Zimmerman just decided to take the law in his own hands and basically attacked this kid. Right. And they, and he was fighting for his life. You know, it was self-defense, the kid's reaction, which anybody would react like that, no matter if you're a kid or adult, whatever. You know what I mean? Sure. And, but then they found him not guilty, but then they, he, he did something else. He fucked up some other way, and he's, he did prison time. I don't know what's up with the George, George guy now, but that was a total injustice, okay? 
Mm-hmm. And that's what started the BLM thing. And then I remember, we remember, I remember talking about the Tamir Rice case. Right. I remember talking about, kid. you know, Breonna Taylor. What? The, the, Tamir Rice is a little kid. The little kid with the airsoft gun. Yep. That was a drive-by shooting. The cops didn't even get out of the car. Right. That was horrible. That was one of the worst ones, I think. I mean, seriously, that one really, really fucked me up, dude. Yeah. I did not like that one, you know? And then um, the Brianna Taylor one, we talked about that extensively. Of course. Um, and there's the, the one from Ferguson that Michael Brown, I think was his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that one was, we could go on and on, but. Oh, yeah, um, this is an endless list of these murders. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I don't, oh, the Amon Arbery one in, in Georgia. Yeah, Amon, I'm not, the jogging kid. I'm not sure I remember that one. You don't remember that kid that was jogging? They got, like, chased down by three ex-cop, like an ex-cop and his sons, and then the friend was behind them filming the whole thing? Yeah, it sounds kind of familiar. He was jogging it... through that subdivision. There was that new construction thing, and they... Oh, he went through the new construction area. He was scoping it out because he's going to steal. So we're going to take the law in our own hands and, hands and chase this fucker down and kill the fucker. And then someone last night in the chat said, well, he grabbed the gun. I'm like, yeah, because it was a rifle. He didn't want to be shot. So he was trying to, like, grab the rifle. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean... It, that was wrong. Those people also took the law into their own hands and decided to become judge and jury and executioner. Yeah. yeah. And you, that's not how it goes. You can't deputize yourself. You can't take the law into your own hands like that. You Right, they did, AG. AG. The, the guy that was that filmed the whole thing, he was arrested too. I mean, he's in trouble too. Sure. He was, so he, like, he, he could have called 911 and stopped. I mean, well, actually, 911 did get called. And they told them to back off, but they refused. They didn't. They didn't. And same with George Zimmerman with the Trayvon Martin case. 911 told him, back away and wait for the authority, the cops to get there. But he didn't. You know what I mean? They, these people that think they can take the law in their own hands, they're fucking fucked up in the head, obviously. Right. You can't just decide, oh, yeah, well... It, you, no, it has to be proven in a court of law, right? Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Uh, I you mean, would, you would think. Even though the justice system or whatever isn't like not corrupt, but seriously, you can't. You're not allowed to do that unless you're defending yourself. I mean, in the Georgia case, they chased that guy down. You know, mm-hmm. he, they, he wasn't threatening their life. He was jogging away from them, and they decided, oh, well, we're going to get this guy. Like, yeah, it doesn't work that way. There are, there are a bunch of I don't know. Names. I didn't mean to get on a tangent, Graham, but it's just so, like. I know. I know. It's, it's You know, these citizens or whatever that think that they're the law all of a sudden, and they can deem themselves the law. You know, it, it, he went through the construction site, but he was literally jogging, dude. He had nothing on him. And maybe he was scoping it out. Maybe he was guilty, and maybe, and he had committed an, a, a crime before that. I get that, but that that still does not make it right for those three dudes, four dudes, to kill that kid that day. They, they that's not due process, dude. <laughs> you you can't just go, oh well, that could be the guy. Oh well, he's just scoping things out. We're just gonna take the law in our own hands. I mean, they hunted him, they chased him down to kill him, dude. You know what I mean? That was like a fucking lynching or something, you know, what they used to do back in the fucking 40s and 50s and 30s and shit. Right. Right, he was totally innocent. I don't give a fuck if he went through that construction site. He obviously didn't take anything from there, because he was jogging, dude. In shorts and a (laughs) t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the story is just all around not good. <laughs> exactly. And those guys, the judges are being tough on those two, though. They're not letting them out on, on bail. They're holding them in in, in jail. Well, good. So that's, yep. Which is good. It is yeah, good. That's good. Yeah. Anyway, anything else, Grant? I mean, what else you got? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, 
There are people out there that believe that the uh, Corona Bologna will um, get them and, and do bad things to them, maybe kill them, whatever. But, right. but, the, but there's good news. There's good news. If you have a if you have any mouthwash, apparently mouthwash kills coronavirus within thirty seconds. I saw that. I'm like, okay. So yeah. you know what's going to happen now? People are going to start drinking mouthwash. Yeah, yeah, down that stuff. If you drink a whole yeah, bottle, they're going to start taking it like a shot. If you, if you drink a shot, you, cheers. If you, if you drink a whole bottle, it's like a vaccine. No, um, or I think that Fireball will work though. If you have Fireball, use that instead of mouthwash. I don't know, or if you have Jack Daniels what's or Fireball? What's Fireball? Patron. What's, what? fire, what's Fireball? Whiskey. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cinnamon drink whiskey. Cinnamon whiskey. Drink whiskey. Just drink scotch. Drink really good. Cinnamon flavored whiskey. If you, yeah. drink, if you drink really good scotch, you won't care. Right. You, you won't care about the corona. And, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the bar in February, right? Last February. And it's just like two or three of us regulars, you know, and um, we're talking, and all of a sudden they say the NBA season has been canceled. Yeah. And we're like, what the fuck, right? Yeah. And this is when the corona first hit. And the one, my, this one guy, his name is David, and he's just like a local regular kooky guy, older guy, you know, Vietnam era dude. You know right. what I mean? Okay. I, I think he did serve in the military, but... He's kind of oh, a couple of screws loose, but he's a sweetheart and he's harmless and he's very smart, actually. He's very intelligent. Anyway, okay. he's like, well, you know, alcohol does kill viruses and <laughs> kill bacteria and stuff, so we're good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. Like, but I do remember saying also, I'm like, this is unprecedented. And this is before they started all the shutting down and everything. This yeah. is like February. I was just like, oh, shit, this can't be good, right? Right. And that was the last time I was there at that bar. I haven't been out at all for nine months. Yeah. Except for the grocery store, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, whatever, Jen. Jen you know, it's still whiskey. <laughs> it's just cinnamon flavored. Uh, I mean, dude, it will get you fucked up. You do a couple of shots of that, and you'll be feeling no pain. Trust me. Trust me on that. <laughs> Doesn't I'd take much. Uh, I'd rather drink scotch, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can't do that. I can't do scotch. I can't do tequila. I can't do, um, uh, I don't know. There's a couple. Most, most things, most boozes I cannot do. I can do still a little bit of whiskey and some rum. That's it. As far as booze. Usually I drink beer, so. Ooh, yeah. Tom Collins. Okay. I'm okay with Those are good. I'm, well, they're I'm, good. I'm okay with gin on occasion, but uh, I don't. I, I mean, I haven't even drank anything, and I don't even know how long. <laughs> right. I mean, I just. Yeah, I, I. I don't. I don't mind like a you know if you if you want to you know take it take her take her down low a little easier, uh, good burgundy. You know that, that's all right. Uh, anyway, on this mouthwash crap here. It says, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says it says oral rinses containing zero point zero seven percent of the ingredient cetylpyridium, whatever uh, chloride shows promising signs of reducing corona. Uh, and they, they bad say, word chloride though. No, it's not chloride. It's oh, that's salt, right? Oh yeah, that the second part is. I was chloride. thinking chlorine. Never mind. The, the, My the, bad. The second, the second part it's is. It's one letter difference, dude. You know, it's, I, it's, come on. Yeah. It, it's. Settle. Sorry, I heard wrong. Here, I'll put it in the chat. You can tell me how to say it. Okay. How, how do you say that? Settle. Pyridinium? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. Anyway. Settle. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. 0.07%. So a very, very low uh, dose of that. So... Uh, the preliminary findings, which are not yet peer-reviewed, uh, come ahead of clinical trials investigating uh, whether over-the-counter mouthwash can reduce levels of the corona bologna in a patient's saliva. Uh, the, the research wow. was conducted at Cardiff, which is uh, Ireland, right? Um, yeah, uh, England, I think. 
Uh, no, I'm not there. Right. Yeah. Uh, at Cardiff University, found that mouthwashes containing that uh, that amount of that stuff show promising signs. Uh, promising. Yeah. So wh- whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Well, no, I mean it's 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 like it's not even real. So <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, AG. I, it's been a, I, I did miserably at chemistry in high school. I fucking sucked at chemistry so bad. It wasn't even funny. Like, my, my teacher was mercifully gave me a D. Like, he could have f- totally flunked my ass. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, he felt bad for me, so he gave me a D. Because he knew I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, you show up for class. You keep showing up, so that's worth something. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I have to. He's like, yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> it was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't like the math part. Like, I got the whole elements and the periodic table and all that crap. But when it comes to doing that complicated chemistry math, it's like, oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell no, dude. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I took biology, too, in eighth grade or something. I think I took it in uh, 11th grade. Right. And the weird thing about the biology class that I took, uh-huh. my dad had the same teacher <laughs> as me. Wow. She'd <laughs> yeah. been, there, been there a while, huh? <laughs> been there since the fourth, uh, let's see, what did I get? 62 <laughs> or something. Jeez. Since the early 60s, he had been there. And I He was still there in the 80s, dude. And I had him. Jeez. He remembered my, my dad and my uncle. He remembered them. That was <laughs> a trip, dude. That was Funny. crazy. Yeah. And then my chemistry teacher, he was there, too, when my dad and my uncle were there. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah, he was an old guy. Yeah, he was old, but in the 80s, you know. But in the, in, in the 60s, he was a young guy. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was that was trippy. That was trippy, dude. <laughs> the same teacher my dad had. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're playing more music. Okay, let's do that. This is a gal by the name of Betty Levette. Is this a sock request? Yes, these are all socks. These oh, okay. Oh, these are all okay. okay. From now on, it's all socks. Well, no, no, that. I'm gonna do it well. If I have time at the end, I'll do something else. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, sounds good. All right. Okay, enjoy. All right, all right, very nice there. Uh, Lucas Nelson and the Promise of the Real, covering J.J. Kale's After Midnight. So that, that was nice stuff right there. Uh, before that, we had uh, a band called Nothing But Thieves doing Trip Switch. Not familiar with the band or the song, but Sock knew him, apparently. He requested it. And we kicked it off with Betty Levette doing You'll Never Change, a little... Uh, Late fifties, early sixties, slightly after the doo wop or around the doo wop era. So, yeah, it's uh, early rhythm and blues. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. sort of. Yeah, you know, there was so many. There's so much um, crossover with music a lot of times. You know, right? You can't just like say, "Oh, that's a rhythm and blues," or "That's blues." You know, you know what I mean? R- right. Sure. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um. So, yeah, Jinmi said that it was a slow news night tonight, but apparently he didn't hear about the shooting at the mall, which is going to be front page news tomorrow nationwide, I'm suspecting. Probably. Because apparently, okay, so there's a lot, even like I was watching the Periscope feed when this was going down. Right. And people were saying, oh, it's a false flag. They're like, it's obvious it's a false flag. And I was, they were saying this already. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And the fact that they ha- don't have the shooter, like usually how it goes is the shooter either kills himself or gets shot by cops. Well, now they're saying the shooter is not at the mall at all. So the mall's safe now. But it's not open yet. You know, obviously. But, um... So it, 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 the fact that the shooter's still at large is interesting. It reminds me a little bit of um, the Sandy, or not the Sandy, the Boston Marathon one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where sure, sure. 
they have to pin it on some, you know what I mean? Right, right. Well, that was also uh, part part of the deal of being able to invade people's houses without them questioning it. Right. In Boston, when that happened, the, they went door to door. Yep. And it was basically martial law. Right. It, we, we were saying that was martial law was declared. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that was what year again? Oh, fuck, I, I can't. 2009? I don't know. What's that again? What year was that Boston Marathon? Oh. 2010? I don't know. 2015? I, I forget. I don't know. Exactly. I, we, dude, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a tabletop um, exercise, which they like to do that. Um you know they 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 pract- they've practiced a couple different pandemic scenarios. Oh, they war game uh, everything. They they war game everything. So yeah, they do. Twenty thirteen. Oh, twenty thirteen. Right. Okay, thanks, AG. Right. Yeah, see, I, I I the older you get, the faster time goes, and you just you try to like, what year was that? Because it all blends together after a while. You know, it's just like holy crap. Uh, yeah, apparently. Uh, trust no one. They said it wasn't a random thing. That it, was, it, it it occurred because of an altercation. But you know, at this point, it's so early that you know that's going to change. You know that story is going to change, dude. Sure. Just watch. It's going to change. Well, whatever. Whatever. There fits might the be agenda. even more than one shooter tomorrow. We you never know. You know well, what I mean? Whatever fits the agenda. Whatever works for them to make guns bad, right? Right. To make uh, whoever yeah. bad. Oh, he was a Trump guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I saw some people in there saying, oh, it was a Proud Boy. It's like, you guys are just spreading this simple because they didn't, not once did anybody ever say over the scanner or on the news that it was a Proud Boy. And, right. you know, these people, the trolls in the chat, you know, they're like, oh, it was a Proud yeah, Boy. Yeah, it was Andy it's like, <laughs> Yeah, they're like, okay. I'm like, come on, you people. You guys, it's so, it's, this is right when it was happening. I'm like, no, you, you people are just trying to fucking get people worked up spreading disinformation. You know what I mean? Oh, it was a fucking pro boy. Like, no, no. He, he was wearing it. Right, was... they are. Especially in a, a chat like that, the Periscope chat, it was like people from all over. You know what I mean? He, so you he, had your Trump supporters, you had your Biden supporters. You know, it was just like, oh, he, I didn't chat he, at he, all. He, but... he was wearing a Camel Toe Harry ass shirt. No, they said he was wearing a green hoodie. It was a white guy in his 20s or 30s wearing a green hoodie. I was listening to Scanner. All right. Well, so already, they, they've already said the shooter's white, okay? Yeah, just yeah, putting yeah. that out there, okay? I, I'm I'm not making a racial, racial thing, but they've already said the shooter was white, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, well, anyway, um, mm-hmm. oh, we got we to do the last thing here. So... Okay. So this is the uh this song here mm-hmm. that I'm gonna play for you. Uh one of one of Sock Puppet's favorite uh artists, Doyle Bramall, uh two. Oh yeah. Doyle Bramall Doyle, two, yeah. Uh with Erika Badu. Uh yeah. Erica? Erica Badu. However you say her name, Erika. A E R Y K A H. Erica Badu. Okay. It's just spelled different. Okay. Anyway, the song right. the song it's called. Am I racist? No, no, no just, I, I am just not let me, racist. Just, just let me do this here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the song is called mm-hmm. "Oh Death." Oh my God! Okay. Wow. All right. Yep. We'll be back after the set. Wang 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 wang. <laughs> that's a, that's a. It's called a gaia gaia guim guai guim. It's a, it's an old uh, Asian instrument there. Uh, so that's uh, Luna playing that. Uh, Kate Kate uh, showed that to me a couple weeks ago. Uh, the first time I got to play it here on the Freakers Ball. Ram jam, uh, yeah, gaia gem version by Luna. Uh, interesting stuff. Before that, Leo Maraccioli covering the Bengals walk like an Egyptian. And we kicked it off there, the, the final song for Sock uh, there tonight. Uh, we got more to, yep. to play next week or whatever. But Yeah, we uh, got more. We're not done with the Sock thing. Anyway, that was uh, Doyle Bromhall, too, and Erika nice. Badu with a song called Oh Death. And if you listen to that uh, 
very poignant to tonight's uh, overall thread, I guess you could say. Anyway, that's gonna wrap yeah. it up. That's gonna wrap it up yeah. here tonight on the Fringes yep. Ball. Uh, there is no scheduled dork table for tomorrow because Grammy's got stuff to do and Flash doesn't yep. want to do it alone. Eh, whatever. So, Understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be on Sunday morning. I'll be on Sunday morning with the Blues, noon Eastern. Uh, yeah. Leading up and to trivia. And trivia, yeah. of course, the trivia. Uh, leading on up into Hal Anthony. Yep. Leading on up into Hal Anthony at 3 p.m. Eastern with Behind the right. Wood Shed. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, on Monday, Monday, myself and Circle at 2 p.m. Eastern with It's All Connected. It's All Connected. It's All Connected. Um, <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Um, yes. And, yeah. No, Jen, we're here in the chat all the time. Like you can just log into our Real Liberty Media chat. Yeah. At all hours of the day, any day, any day or time of the week. Seriously, we're always here. Like on Sundays, like Grim was saying, we do, he plays blues music and we do a trivia game in the chat. Yeah. It's kind of fun. You might want to check it out. And even if you don't do the trivia thing, you can just be there to chat. You don't have to, um, you know, participate in the trivia thing. Yeah. Yeah. Great to see you again, AG. So happy you stopped by here. Thank you. It's so wonderful to see you, girl. Absolutely. I'm so, so glad to or so um, glad to hear you're doing great. Dude. Yeah, 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 girl. Bonus. Yeah. All right. Yeah, don't be a stranger. Absolutely not. Um, okay, so uh, that's it. Talk to y'all that's later. It. We're done. Yep. Peace. Peace.